I'm sitting once again with Clemens. Hello. Lookout Games, <laughs> or Lookout Spiel, excuse Lookout me. Spiel. <laughs> now, you guys um, obviously have a big hit already with Agricola, the two-player version, which is all creatures, uh, great and small, mm -hmm. which also won an IGA award. We yes. had a presentation yes. yesterday so yes. for the best two-player game this year. But you guys have released an expansion, which uh, we were just talking about. The name doesn't quite translate in English. That no, not really. But basically, as best we could tell, yeah. was uh, all stables for the animals. Or yes, more <laughs> stables for the animals. Which uh, is a great joke, apparently, or play on words in German and not so much in English. So someone will have to be clever in English. But I think in the English version, there is a joke, too. It's, it's rather close to the original title, too. Oh, good. All right. But I don't know it by heart. <laughs> all right, we'll have to go ask Seaman what that oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to assume that most people are familiar mm -hmm. with uh, uh, Gricola, the mm -hmm. two-player version. Mm -hmm. So just why don't you tell us what this expansion adds to the original yeah. game. Okay. The original two-player game, yes. excuse me. <laughs> uh, the expansion adds basically what all the fans demanded. Variation and a random aspect in the setup. Because we have uh, special buildings in the base game, we have four special buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only change uh, in the expansion is that, additionally, to these four uh, special buildings, we take four uh, new special buildings. We have 27 new special buildings in this box. We take four of them randomly and place them next to the board. Well, basically that's it. <laughs> so we have uh, the same options like in the base game, but if we have the special building action which is two times on the board and now it really makes sense to have these action two times on the board because all these different buildings and the different combinations um, allow a huge uh, amount of uh, different strategies. So we have the basic special buildings that ensure that you have a strategy to follow, you have a path to follow, but we have these four new buildings that really um, add to the theme of the game because what Uber did is he looked at the game board and included new buildings that refer to specific places on the game board. Mm -hmm. For example, if you have a pig farm or something like that, we have the wild boars uh, that live in the woods. So these tiles can only be placed next to the wood. Okay. We have tiles uh, that have to be placed next to the road. We have tiles that have to be placed in the middle. So there's a huge variation in this box. Now, how many, how many new buildings are included in this? 27 special buildings, one additional uh, expansion. Ah. Fan demanded two, and we have one, uh, one stable, one additional stable, just a normal stable, which is necessary if we have these new buildings, new options, more options, more possibilities to expand, to, to fill our, our farmyard. So it was necessary to add, add these two little pieces, but they are really necessary for the gaming experience. Does this add a lot of time to the original game? No, not really. <laughs> no, not, not really. If you're used to the game in the first few rounds, probably to look at the special buildings, to uh, yeah, see how they work, how they interconnect, I would say for the first round probably five, five to ten minutes, but then it's the same basically the same. Which, and let's just remind people, how long does the game typically take? 30 minutes. Yeah, so very, yeah. very fast. <laughs> My wife and me are playing it in about 20 minutes, so <laughs> that's, that's okay too. Now, this is uh, for sale here at, Yes, at the it's fair. for sale, but we have the same situation like with yes. the Labra 2 player, it's already sold out wow. in English. Um, but I, I'm guessing this one's also making its way stateside yes. very, very soon. Yes. So we were thinking maybe sometime in November. We hope so. They're on their way. <laughs> and do you have an idea of how much this expansion will cost in dollars? I'm not 100% sure about that. Here at the fair we have about 8, eight to 9 euros. Well, and people can yeah. get a pretty good idea. Mm. It's probably somewhere between 15 and 20 dollars mm. then, but don't, don't hold us to that. <laughs> All right, Clemens, thank you so much for bringing by the expansion to uh, Greek the two-player game. Agricola, excuse me. <laughs>